welcome back my dear friends so here we are going to start the new lesson an epitome of courage so move towards the warming up section a strange truth handicapped are those who refuse to take up challenges even with all their senses and physiology in perfect condition so we have to understand and discuss the above truth how can you encourage such people to change and become confident discuss at least four to five ways you can do the above so answer will be self confident people are admired by others and inspire confident in others they face their fears head on and tend to be risk takers they know that no matter what obstacles come in their way they have the ability to get past them self confident people tend to see their lives in a positive light even when things are not going so well and they are typically satisfied with all respect themselves so see uh, following are some points i have drawn here so by which they can be motivated life revolves around living not all around disability disability is a matter of perception if you can do just one thing well you are needed by someone for me disability is a way of quitting some extreme like some kind of very difficult situation that throws an interesting light on people know me for my abilities not my disability concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you doing well and don't regret the things it interferes with don't be disabled in spirit as well as physically the first question there are pleasant and polite ways of preferring to people with physical and mental disabilities fill in the table below so here some previously used terms have given and we have to add new polite terms so the first blind and in new polite terms we can say visually challenged previous term is deaf and new term is hearing impaired previous term is dumb and new polite term is speech impaired previously used term is mad and the new polar term is mentally ill previously used term is lame and the new polar term is physically handicapped read the beginning and complete the story in your own words see here title is know my disabilities sorry know me for my abilities not my disability so in this section we have to complete the story so the story will be like this Sumit the son of a shoemaker was a highly intelligent student in municipal school his math teacher called him einstein for he was brilliant in maths he loved maths sumit wanted to study further after ssc however he suffered from polio and got completely paralyzed him his body made him disabled everyone from his family suffered from lots of tension as he was very clever in maths his math teacher was also feeling sympathy towards him but his love for the mathematics never went down he continued his study everybody from his school supported him for his study and tried to solve his financial problem too with the help of all his friends and teachers and parents he completed his graduation in maths with the encouragement by his his professors he did his research in his subject for his phd during this he was studying mpsc he stood first in it and got awarded by the government he then got awarded by for his courage as he was handicapped but he studied hard for his future without caring about his disability some questions we can say w questions have given along with the lesson the first question is what did stephen hawking's parents fail to know about him answer neither could anybody imagine that his mind would soar up into space like light more importantly none could predict that he would be the very epitome of courage second question what is courage answer courage is a wonderful thing it is that quality which makes people not to lose heart when faced with a great calamity third question where was stephen hawking sent for studying mathematics Stephen Hawking sent at the University of Oxford for studying mathematics. 
what happened when he was 17 at the age of 17 stepan started noticing that he was becoming increasingly clumsy and even fell down a couple of times for no reason next question what did his family doctor diagnose his family doctor diagnosed him as suffering from an extremely rare disease ls or lou gehrig disease that affects the nervous system and eventually weakens all the muscles of the body next what did he study about to get his phd he began studying the concept of black holes to get his phd next guess the meaning of profound profound means of a particular or statement person or statement we can say having or showing great knowledge or insight or some ideas extremely good or excellent idea in, sp in spite of no control on his body how did Hawking express his ideas though confined to a wheelchair with no control over his body save a finger and with a computer to help him express his thoughts and ideas what does the writer say about the books authored by Dr. Hawkins? Writer says that he has authored many books dealing with his awesome idea, keeping a layman in mind. His writing is full of wit and humor. His style is so lucid and non scientist can also understand him. His book, A Brief History of Time, is one of the best selling books of our times. Okay, let's start the English workshop of that lesson. Match the following. See here group A and group B has given and some scientist names and what they did. So first Galileo. So answer is D. The greatest scientist 300 years before Hawking. Second is Dr. Stephen Hawking. Answer will be C. The greatest scientist of this century. Black holes. 3. What is black holes? Answer is A. Black holes is the concept which helped Stephen to get his PhD. And the fourth one is Stephen's favorite subject. Answer is B. Music and Mathematics. Next. Complete the following web chart containing the qualities of Dr. Stephen Hawking. So here we have to write the qualities of Dr. Stephen Hawking. The first one is courageous, intelligent, leadership, never gave up, own motivator, and optimistic. Question 3. Arrange the following statements according to the occurrence in the life history of Dr. Stephen Hawking. So here some points are given. So you have to arrange the occurrence of his history. So answer will be first D. Here Stephen was born on 8th of January 1942 and then grew up like an average child as a normal teenager second answer a at the age of 17 Stephen noticed that he fell down a couple of times for no reason third one is g here Stephen was diagnosed with a rare disease called als or lou f Stephen decided to continue his doctoral research work with renewed vigor fifth one is e the disease worked its way into Stephen's body and left him disabled Next one is H. Though confined to a wheelchair, he worked on a computer and expressed his thoughts. B. He became a fellow of the Royal Society and a member of the US National Academy of Science. And the last one is C. He believes that in the next millennium, science will discover the core secrets of the universe. Question number 4. Homographs. Pairs of words that are spelled and pronounced the same but have different meaning in different contexts. For example, watch means observe and here watch means the device that shows the time. So use the following words in two different contexts. The first one is couple. Couple means a countable noun and the another couple is two people living together. Second B, mind. Mind is a part of a brain. And the another one is to feel annoyed or upset about something. Next one is space. A place that is empty or not used. The space, another space means the area which surrounds the planet Earth. 
next one is sound something that we hear another meaning of sound is healthy and strong in good condition and the left left the side and another meaning of left is still available after everything else has been taken or used so in a notebook make pairs of sentences with any three of the above homograph so i have made all the homographs the first couple two people or things of the same sort considered together example of that a couple of girls were playing marbles the second meaning two people who are married or otherwise closely associated romantically or sexually in 3 weeks the couple fell in love and become engaged second one is mind a person's mental process contrasted with physical action example i wrote a letter in my mind and another meaning a person's attention employees should keep their minds on the job next one is space continuous area or expanse which is free available or unoccupied a table took up much of the space this another meaning the physical universe beyond the earth's atmosphere britain's first woman in space next one is sound a thing that can be heard she heard the sound of voices in the hall another meaning is in good condition not damaged injured or dis- diseased the return safe and sound and last one is left on or to the left side example is turn left here and last one is still available after everything else has been taken or used is there any bread left question number 5 use the following words or phrases in your own sentences quirk of fate it means strange and unexpected event and the sentence is by some quirk of fate we came to live in the same town b confined to to only exist in a particular area or group of people the flooding was confined to this basement c exaggeration a statement that represents something as better or worse that than it really is it would be an exaggeration to say i had morning sickness but i did feel queasy d an epitome of courage sorry an epitome of a person or thing that is typical of a possesses to a high degree the feature of a whole class and the example is or the statement is he is the epitome of goodness next millennium a period of 1000 years the area has experienced the worst drought in half a millennium question number 6 expand the given themes and if that has they have given the supporting hints we can say the first one is if you fall ill during your final exam so theme will be if i become ill during an examination i must notify an examination supervisor in the venue i do this by staying in my seat and raising my hand the supervisor will accompany with me to the university medical center for the health assessment the medical practitioner will also assist me in completing my application for special consideration college will contact my parents to tell them about my illness they will be here to help me out and doctor will treat me for the same second if you meet a disabled person who needs help there are many disabled person we find around us if i meet disabled person who need help i will ask him about his problem and treat with kind i will ask him what help exactly he want with the help of my friends i shall provide him the things he need if i couldn't i will call the helpful person or organization who can help him out see if your friend is in trouble if one of my friends is in great trouble i will contact him or try to meet him and ask about his trouble if possible i will surely help him out for his trouble i will encourage him to get out from his trouble if it's a financial problem so with the help of our other friends we will solve this problem by contributing some money together friends are the god gifted thing so i am always ready 
to help them in any circumstances d if you meet a great person like dr stephen hawking to meet great person like dr stephen hawking need god's bless if this come true i will pre plan the meeting prepare some questions to us i will collect information about him from the source of books or internet during meeting i will behave good and talk him respectfully if i feel some fear i must overcome it we will discuss about his great work in science last but not the least i will take his autograph and selfie with him question number 7 you happen to meet a successful person who is disabled write an imaginary dialogue between you and him or her you can take support of hints provided so same hints have provided here introduction welcome or greeting congratulating honoring a cause reason for the disability decision plan or donation or implementation adults in life parents friends support if any success stories accomplishment and the lastly conclusion or final message if any so dialogue between a disabled person vishal and me hello sir welcome it's glad to meet you thank you very much nice to meet you i have heard and read many of your books those you have authored i genuinely says that you motivated me a lot thank you for that it's my great pleasure that my books help you for the same i'm sorry but will you please share the reason of your disability there is no need to say sorry i don't feel sorry about my disability when i was 4 years old there was a disease called polio i was crippled by it the disease spread like a fire in a forest through my legs and i got disabled i was confined to the wheelchair since then it's really motivating thing that you have achieved a great success even when you are confined to the wheelchair yes it is really motivating thing for my followers i got motivated f- motivated from my parents and friends they really did help me to survive my life in this condition i thank those who did this for me did you face any difficulties yes i faced lots of difficulties in my life if you don't survive you can't arrive everybody in this world must have to survive and face challenges but some get success and some not courage is the most important thing that we should have those have courage and guts to take the risk they have got the success but they don't have they didn't yes sir you are absolutely right on behalf of all my friends we will apply all your thoughts in our life thank you very much that you gave me your precious time heartily thank you it's my pleasure okay let's have language study section complete the following word chain of adjectives so here we have to write only adjectives cruel lame enthusiastic courageous simple question number b complete the following word chain of nouns medicine engine email lamp and pen c complete the following word chain of verbs grow walk no wake and erase last one is d complete the following word chain anyway physics science english health science and economics so there is no not no need to write subject here you can write by anyway the next convert the following sentences to the exclamatory sentences of the same meaning the first one is dr hawking is a very humble man what a humble man dr hawking is he was very clumsy how clumsy he was he was very simple and intelligent how simple and intelligent he was courage is a truly wonderful thing what a wonderful thing courage is question number b convert the following sentences to the interrogative or question form the prognosis was bad was the prognosis bad stephen decided to continue his research did stephen decide to continue his research there are many people who display exemplary courage are there many people who display exemplary courage 
and the last one is his mind would soar up into space like light would his mind soar up into space like light so here all the workshops warming up and uh, language study that i have completed so wait for the next lesser lesson and i am going to post very soon book review swami and friends by r r narayan so she uh, had some problems that's why just getting late to posting videos so many more videos and many more ideas and many more knowledge that's coming to on this channel so be here and be subscribe and don't forget to like and share so thank you very much